Almost every control in Fusion, from sliders to checkboxes, can be animated or altered with built-in modifiers or user-definable expressions. To animate any value, right-click onto the control and select Animate. In this case, the animation is applied to the center of an ellipse mask. The control is now in auto keyframe mode, which is depicted by a colored underlay. That means, if the current time is changed and the value is modified, either on screen or numerically, a new keyframe will be set automatically. While a tool is selected and active, Alt and the square bracket keys can be used to jump from one keyframe on that tool to the next or previous keyframe. On some keyboard layouts, the square brackets might not work. Use Alt and the two keys left of the backspace key in that case is. For example, on a German keyboard that's Alt Accent and Alt Sharp S. In the timeline view, the position of the keyframes can be examined and altered. For much more advanced operations, switch to the spline view. Click and drag in the time area to zoom into time, or click and drag in the value area to zoom into value. Use left mouse button and middle mouse button to zoom in or out directly, or click on Fit to zoom onto the currently active set of animation splines. Right click on any keyframe to bring up a context menu to modify the attributes of that keyframe. The same works for multiple selected keyframes. Observe the shortcuts that are printed out behind some menu entries like Shift-S to smooth or Shift-L to linearize keyframes. It's time well spent to familiarize oneself with the feature set of the spline editor. New keyframes can be inserted and modified at any time by clicking anywhere onto the spline. The exact time and value of the keyframe can be found in the associated fields. For sophisticated numerical entries, these can also toggle between value, offset and scale. Splines can also be reversed, looped, set to ping pong or relative repeat. Any change on the original animation will be reflected in the loop as well. Right-click and select Duplicate Ping Pong to generate a given number of loops, which then can be modified, for example, with a shape box. Or in time stretch mode. In addition to animating, values can also be altered by modifiers. Right-click on a control and select Modify With to see a selection of available modifiers. In this case, a shake adds undulation to the control. The attributes of a modifier can be found in the Modifier tab while the tool is active. To add custom expressions to any control, type an equal sign into the value field and press Return. Use the plus sign to pick whip values from other controls or add or write your own expressions.